that all of these whole, all of these beings uh, have been uh, part of this. Um, we imagine that all of these blessings come to us and then aid us in our ability to actually, in the future, practice those things that are contained uh, secretly within this text. Um, so uh, with that, with that um, I will turn it over. I may turn, if you see me turn off the camera, um, know that Rinpoche is here, um, but um, he's just getting up and I may, uh, yeah, so just know that Rinpoche is here. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, if he, if we see the camera, you see the camera go off, it'll go back on as soon as it can. All righty. Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate all your effort. If I've forgotten anything, let me know. And we can do quite questions maybe uh, at the end, or I don't know um, when we want to handle that. Um, but, uh, it, but remember what I said about the Guru Puja. Questions about the details of it. I don't have the language for highest yoga tantra. Um, it's, you know, not, I mean, if privately people want to ask, I can see if we can root through it. Um, but it's just not something that, um, I'm familiar with or comfortable with, especially when it comes to Tantrayana, if I'm not really confident in my linguistic skills, because there's so much non-virtue created in mis, um, uh, misinterpretation or, um, teaching wrong Dharma about Tantra. I'm very hesitant to translate things that I know I'm not qualified to, because if I miss a nuance and I know that I'm not qualified to do it, it's almost like my ego is saying, let me just push ahead. And if it's wrong view, it's okay. And because I wouldn't really be able to distinguish it because I'm not a scholar in that area. So I just want to say that to everyone. And I'm sorry that I, you know, I do have my own limitations and those are some limitations. And even if it's just in my own, from my own side or my own head or my perfectionism, it's something that I'm not comfortable with. So it's just something that I have to ask people to just be respectful of um, and only not comfortable with because of, I feel that I'm not qualified to translate some of it. Um, so uh, with that, uh, let's get started with the Guru Puja, unless anyone has some questions uh, that they really want to ask right the second, maybe it can't stick around for the Guru Puja because they have to go to work. Um, I just want to give people an opportunity to, you know, ask something if they can't wait till the Guru Puja is finished. Uh, Jeff, baloney or no baloney? I, I don't know how to say baloney in Tibetan. They're tearing the so the pasha digger to bed. No. Pasha digger to bed. No. Yeah. The, so pork is fine. And we know that regular meat's fine. I don't think there's, yeah, so that should be fine. I don't think there's fish in bologna. Nyasha digurabe. Shazuma digurabe. Yeah, so we don't have meat in the house. Um, so we're using Boca burger. So we're imagining all of this. So if we can't like just take it to that step, that little step further, then I think we're missing the whole point. We're trying to abandon ordinary appearances so we have to really be careful that we're not being attached to ritual. You know, ritual is there for us to see the emptiness of it and accumulate merit. But if we become attached to ritual, it can be a cause for suffering. Uh, I was hoping I might be able to just mention that I'm, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Um, I'm very grateful to Rinpoche for the opportunity to, and to you guys as well, uh, to be able to recite the Guru Puja. Um, I feel it's a great blessing uh, for me, and I wish that I may be able to be a vessel for, um, for this transmission as best I can. And I just want to say ahead of time that I apologize if I ever uh, make a mistake in the recitation. Thank you very much, Dan. Um, I re we really appreciate you doing it. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get started here uh, it's a, a wonderful wonderful occasion and i i would just ask that maybe you can say out loud when we just get to the part um of tasting the soak and then offering the excess because i can't see the words on the screen i'll be able to hear it but i just don't want to miss it um and make sure that we do that ritual here thank you Sure, yeah. So I can either do that uh, myself or Kate, if you wanted to, uh, I could delegate it to you. It's up to you. 
Yeah, I'll I'll do it if 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 you don't. So you do it, and if you forget, I'll I'll make sure we. Yeah, do I'll it. do it then. That's fine. Uh, and then also, I want to mention to everyone that we decided we're going to do um, the initial um, uh, refuge prayer that's in LC three. We're going to do the the uh, Sanskrit followed by the English followed by the Sanskrit. Just so everyone knows, okay. Okay, so I shall begin. So everyone can follow along with me. I'm going to say everything that is highlighted. Taking refuge from the state of an exalted white virtuous mind, I and all my old mother sentient beings who are equal to space from this moment until our supreme enlightenment take refuge in the Guru and the three rare sublime ones. Namo Guru Bya, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dharmaya, Namo Sangaya. I take refuge in the Gurus, I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. Namo Guru Bya, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dharmaya, Namo Sangaya. Generating Bodhicitta. For the sake of all mother sentient beings, I will become the Guru deity and place all sentient beings in the supreme state of the Guru deity. For the sake of all mother sentient beings, I will become the Guru deity and place all sentient beings in the supreme state of the Guru deity. For the sake of all mother sentient beings, I will become the Guru deity and place all sentient beings in the supreme state of the Guru deity. Generating special bodhicitta. For the sake of all mother sentient beings, I will quickly, quickly in this very life, actualize the state of the primordial Buddha Guru deity. I will free all mother sentient beings from suffering and lead them to the great bliss of Buddhahood. Therefore, I will practice the profound path of the Guru Deity Yoga. Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum. Pure clouds of outer, inner, and secret offering substances pervade the reaches of space, earth, and sky spreading out inconceivably. In nature, they are transcendental wisdom, in aspect, inner offerings, and the individual offering substances. As enjoyments of the six senses, they function to generate the special transcendental wisdom of bliss and emptiness. Generating the merit field, visualization. In the vast space of indivisible bliss and emptiness, Amidst billowing clouds of Samantabhadra offerings, at the crest of a wish-granting tree, adorned with leaves, flowers, and fruit, is a precious lion throne, ablazed with gems, on which is a wide lotus sun and full moon. On them sits my root guru, kind in three ways, in nature, all Buddhas, in aspect, a saffron-robed monk, with one face, two arms, and a radiant white smile. Your right hand is in the gesture of expounding the Dharma. Your left is in meditative equipoise, holding an alms bowl full of nectar. You wear three lustrous saffron robes and your head is crowned by a golden pandit hat. In your heart sits the all-pervading Lord, powerful Vajradhara, with one face, two arms, and a blue body, holding Vajra and Bell and embracing Vajradhatvitsvati, while delighting in the play of simultaneous bliss and emptiness. They are adorned with jewel ornaments of many designs and clothed in garments of heavenly silk. Adorned with the signs and exemplifications, radiant with countless light rays, 
You sit in the Vajra position, encircled by a five-colored rainbow. Your pure aggregates are the five Sudatas. Your four elements, the four wisdom mothers, your sources, channels, sinews, and joints, actual bodhisattvas, the hair of your pores, 21,000 arhats, your limbs, wrathful protectors, your light rays, directional guardians, and secret yakshas, while worldly beings are cushions for your feet. Surrounding you in their respective order sit the direct and lineage gurus, Yidams, host of mandala deities, Buddhas, bodhisattvas, heroes, and akinis, encircled by an ocean of dharma protectors. The three vajras mark your three doors. From the syllable whom hooked light rays radiate, drawing forth the wisdom beings from their natural abode to become inseparable and set. Invocation. Though phenomena are free of any inherent coming and going, you arise through your enlightened activity of wisdom and loving compassion, according to the dispositions of very disciples. Holy Refuge Savior, please come forth with your retinue. Source of complete goodness and excellence throughout the three times, root and lineage gurus, yidams, the three rare sublime ones, heroes, dakinis, and host of dharma protectors and guardians. By the power of your compassion, come forth and abide steadfast. Om Guru Buddha Bodhisattva Dharma Pala Sapari Vada Ehya Hi Jahum Baho. The wisdom beings and commitments beings become non dual. The seven limbs, the seven limbs prostrations to the Guru as the Sambhogikaya. Your compassion grants even the sphere of great bliss, the supreme state of the three kayas, in an instant. Guru, with the jewel like body, Vajra holder, I prostrate at your lotus feet. To the Guru as the Nirmanakaya, the transcendental wisdom of all the infinite conquerors, supreme skillful means appearing in any way that subdues, sporting in the guise of a saffron robed monk. Holy Refuge Savior, I prostrate at your feet. To the Guru as the Dharmakaya. You eliminated all faults and their imprints from the root and are a treasury of infinite precious qualities. Sole source of benefit and bliss without exception. Perfect, pure Guru, I prostrate at your feet. To the Guru as the manifestation of the three rare sublime ones. Teacher of gods and all, embodiment of all Buddhas, source of the 84,000 holy dharmas, you stand out amongst the whole host of Aryas. Kind Guru, I prostrate to you. To the Gurus as the manifestation of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva. To the gurus dwelling in the three times and ten directions, the three precious sublime ones and all worthy of homage, with faith, conviction, and an ocean of lyric praise, I prostrate, manifesting as many bodies as atoms in the universe. Making offerings. Outer offerings, the four waters, flowers, incense, light, perfume, food, and music. Refuge Savior, perfect pure Guru, together with your retinue, I present you oceans of clouds of various offerings. From spacious, well-arranged vessels, radiant and precious, flow gently forth four streams of purifying nectar water. On trees, excellently spread out individually as garlands, beautiful flowers fill the earth and sky. Blue summer clouds of vidurious smoke, from fragrant incense billows, Below in the heavens, joyfully dancing light from suns, moons, jewels, and flaming lamps dispel the darkness of the billion-fold world system. Perfumes imbued with the fragrance of camphor, sandalwood, and saffron collect from everywhere into great lakes. Nourishing food and drink of a hundred flavors, delicacies of gods and humans, are piled high as Mount Meru. 
pleasing melodies from an endless variety of various instruments fill the three realms. The five sense objects. Goddesses of outer and inner desirable objects holding symbols of sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch pervade all directions. Mandala offering of 23 heaps. Mount Meru and the four continents, the seven precious substances, the seven secondary precious objects, and so forth. Perfect environments and beings that give rise to complete joy, a great treasure of all that gods and humans use and desire. I present a billion times over with a mind of pure faith to the supreme field, the treasure of compassion, the refuge savior. Offering of practice. To please you, perfect, pure guru, I offer a delightful garden, enchanting everyone with thousand petaled lotuses growing on the shores of a wish granting ocean, offering actually arranged and mentally emanated, arising from the white actions of existence and peace. Beautified with all kinds of flowers, the worldly and transcendent virtues of the three doors of myself and others, emitting Samatabhadra offerings, hundred thousand fragrances, and laden with the fruits of the three trainings, two stages, and five paths. Inner Offering I offer a drink of Chinese tea, saffron bright, imbued with delicious scents and rich with a hundred flavors. The five hooks, five lamps, and so forth are purified, transformed, and increased into ocean of nectar. Secret Offering I offer illusion-like wisdom, mothers of youthful splendor, splendors and skilled in the, 36, in, the, in the 64 arts of love, a host of beautiful messenger dakinis, field-born, mantra-born, and simultaneously born. Suchness Offering Unobstructed, great transcendental wisdom, simultaneous with bliss, the sphere free from elaboration, the nature of all phenomena, spontaneous and indivisible, beyond thought and expression. Supreme ultimate bodhicitta, I offer you. Offering of medicine and service. To cure the 404 diseases caused by delusions, I offer all kinds of wholesome medicine, and I offer myself as a servant to please you. Please keep me in your service as long as space endures. Confession. Whatever non-virtuous negative actions I have done from beginningless time cause others to do or in which I have rejoiced, but for those having great compassion, I confess them with regret and vow never to commit them again. Rejoicing. Though all phenomena lack the characteristic of inherent existence, we rejoice from the depth of our hearts in the dreamlike bliss and joy of all ordinary beings and aryas, and in every virtue that has ever arisen. Request to the Guru to turn the wheel of Dharma. Please let fall a rain of profound and extensive dharma from a hundred thousand billowing clouds of perfect wisdom and compassion, so that the jasmine garden of the benefit and bliss of infinite transmigratory beings may be born, abide long, and grow. Request to the Guru to remain for a long time. Your Vajra body is subject to neither birth nor death, but as a vessel of the mighty king, unification. Please abide forever according to our wishes, not passing beyond sorrow until samsara ends. Dedication. I dedicate the merits of white virtue thus created, that we may be inseparably guided, guided in all our lives by the perfect pure gurus who are kind in the three ways and thereby attain the unified state of Vajradhara. Making requests. Requests recalling the Guru's qualities according to the Vinaya. Source of qualities, great ocean of moral discipline, treasury brimming with jewels of much hearing, master, second Buddha clad in saffron, elder Vinaya holder, I make requests to you. 
according to the Mahayana. You have 10 qualities suitable for one to teach the path of those gone to bliss. Lord of Dharma, representative of all conquerors, Mahayana virtuous friend, I make requests to you. According to the Vajrayana, you are wise, patient, honest, without pretense or guile, your three doors well subdued. You have both sets of 10 qualities, known mantra and tantra, and are skilled in drawing and explaining foremost Vajra holder. I make requests to you. Requests recalling the Guru's kindness. The Guru is kinder than all the Buddhas. To those untamed by countless past Buddhas, the unruly transmigratory beings of this degenerate age who are difficult to subdue, you accurately show the good way of those gone to bliss. Compassionate refuge savior, I make requests to you. The Guru is even kinder than Shakyamuni Buddha. When the sun of the Muni sets because of the times, you enact the deeds of a conqueror for the many transmigratory beings who lack a refuge savior. Compassionate refuge savior, I make requests to you. Even the Guru's family, animals, and so forth are a higher object of offering than all the Buddhas. Even one of your pores is for us a field of merit more highly praised than all the conquerors of the three times in ten directions. Compassionate refuge savior, I make requests to you. Requests expressing the Guru's qualities. Outer qualities. Adorned with the Sujata's three bodies and ornamental wheels, you manifest from a, an alluring net of skillful means in an ordinary form to lead all beings. Compassionate refuge savior, I make requests to you. Inner qualities. Your aggregates, elements, sources, and limbs are in nature the wisdom fathers and mothers of the five types of Sudatas, bodhisattvas and wrathful protectors. Supreme Guru, in nature, the three rare sublime ones, I make requests to you. Secret qualities. Arising from the play of omniscient transcendental wisdom, you are the essence of 10 million mandala cycles, pervading lord of a hundred types of Buddhas, foremost Vajra holder, unified primordial savior, I make requests to you. Suchness qualities. Obscured, inseparable from the play of simultaneous joy, pervading everything in motion and at rest, the nature of all things, free from beginning or end, all good, actual, ultimate bodhicitta, I make requests to you. Special one-pointed request. You are the guru, you are the yidam, you are the dakini and dharma protector, from now until enlightenment, I will seek no other refuge than you. In this life, the bardo and all future lives, hold me with your hook of compassion. Free me from the fears of samsara and nirvana, grant all attainments, be my constant companion, and guard me from interferences. In this life, the bardo and all future lives, hold me with your hook of compassion. Free me from the fears of samsara and nirvana, Grant all attainments, be my constant companion, and guard me from interferences. In this life, the bardo, and all future lives, hold me with your hook of compassion. Free from the fears of samsara and nirvana, grant all attainments. Be my constant companion, and guard me from interferences. Receiving the blessing of the four empowerments. By the force of having thus requested three times, nectar and light rays, white, red, and dark blue, stream forth one by one and all together from the places of my guru's holy body, speech, and mind. And absorb one by one and all together into my own three places. The four obscurations are purified and the four pure empowerments are received. I achieve the four kayas and am blessed by a replica of the Guru that happily absorbs into me. Blessing the Sok Offering. 
Om Ahum, Om Ahum, Om Ahum. Pure clouds of outer, inner, and secret offering subdue substances. Substances pervade the reaches of space, earth, and sky, spreading out inconceivably. In nature, they are transcendental wisdom, in aspect, inner offerings, in the individual offering substances. As enjoyments of the six senses, they function to generate the special transcendental wisdom of bliss and emptiness. E maho. In the grand play of transcendental wisdom, all realms are Vajra fields and all abodes majestic Vajra places. Oceans of clouds of Samantabhadra offerings blaze forth. Objects are endowed with every glory. All beings are actual Dakas and Dakinis. There is not even the word impurity are mistaken. All is infinitely pure. Whom? Within the Dharmakaya, where all mental fabrications are stilled, are above a turbulent wind and blazing fire. All three are three heart stones of human heads. Ah, within a proper human skull cap, Om, each substance brilliantly shines. Above them are Om, ah, whom. Each sparkles with brilliant color. Wind moves, fire blazes, the substances melt and boil. Vapors swirl upon strongly, causing hosts of light rays to emanate from the three syllables into the ten directions, drawing back the three vajras and nectar, which absorbs and absorb into the respective syllables. They melt into nectar and blend in with the essences, purified, transformed, and increased. Emaho, it becomes an ocean, gleaming with the glory of everything desired. Om ahum, om ahum. Om ah hum. Invocation. Root in lineage gurus in the nature of compassion, Yidam's host of deities, the object of refuge, the three rare sublime ones, heroes, Dakinis, hosts of Dharma protectors, and guardians, I request you to come to this offering site. Amidst an ocean of clouds of outer, inner, and secret offerings, on a beautiful throne made of precious gems, Firmly place your radiant feet, Supreme Siddha, and grant me every desired attainment. Offering the Sok. Ho, I offer this ocean of Sok offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please your, you hosts of refuge and lineage gurus, Om Ahum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired, Imaho. Please let fall a great rain of blessings. Ho, I offer this ocean of suk offerings of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you, host of deities, the power of the powerful yogini, Chakrasamvara. Om Ahum. Satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired, Emaho. Please bestow the attainments of Chakara. Ho, I offer this ocean of suck offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you, hosts of Yidam deities, along with your retinue. Om Ah Hum. Satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. Em Ah Please let fall a great rain of attainments. Ho, I offer this ocean of Sok offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, I offer to please you hosts of precious, rare, sublime ones, Om Ah Hum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired, Em Ah Ho, please let fall a great rain of holy dharma. Ho, I offer this ocean of Sok offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you hosts of Dakas and Dakinis and Dharma protectors. Om Ahum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. Em Aho, please let fall a great rain of enlightened activities. Ho, I offered this ocean of Sok offering of uncontaminated nectar, Blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you, host of Mother Sentient Beings. Om Ahum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired, Emaho, 
Please pacify mistaken appearances and suffering. Amidst offering the soak. Ho, I offer this ocean of soak offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi Mantra and Mudra, in order to please you hosts of root and lineage gurus. Om ah hum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. E ma ho, please let fall a great rain of blessings. Ho, I offer this ocean of soak offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you host of deities of the power yogini, powerful yogini Chakrasamvara. Om Ah Hung, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. E Ma Ho, please bestow the attainment of Shakara. Ho, I offer this ocean of soak offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you host of Yudam deities along with your retinue. Om Ah Hum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. E Ma Ho, please let fall a great rain of attainments. Ho, I offer this ocean of soak offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra. I offer to please you hosts of precious, rare, sublime ones. Om Ah Hung. Satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. E Ma Ho. Please let fall a great rain of holy Dharma. Ho. I offer this ocean of soak offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you hosts of Dakas, Dakinis, and Dharma protectors. Om Ah Hum. Satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. E Ma Ho. Please let fall a great rain of enlightened activities. Ho. I offer this ocean of soak offerings of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you hosts of mother sentient beings. Om Ah Hum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. E Ma Ho, please pacify mistaken appearances and suffering. Offering the soak. Ho. I offer this ocean of soak offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi Mantra and Mudra, in order to please you hosts of root and lineage gurus. Om Ah Hum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. E Ma Ho, please let fall a great rain of blessings. Ho, I offer this ocean of soak offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi Mantra and Mudra, in order to please you host of deities of the powerful yogini, Chakrasamvara, Om Ah Hum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired, E Ma Ho, please bestow the attainment of Chakara. Ho, I offer this ocean of silk offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you hosts of Yidam deities, along with your retinues, Om Ah Hum. Satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. E Ma Ho, please let fall a great rain of attainments. Ho, I offered this ocean of soak offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra. I offer to please you hosts of precious, rare, sublime ones. Om Ah Hum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. E Ma Ho, please let fall a great rain of holy Dharma. Ho, I offer this ocean of soak offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you hosts of Dakas, Dakinis, and Dharma protectors. O Ma Hung, satisfied by enjoying an abund abundance of all that is desired. E Ma Ho, please let fall a great rain of enlightened activities. Ho, I offer this ocean of soak offering of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, in order to please you hosts of mother sentient beings. Om Ah Hum, satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. E Ma Ho, please pacify mistaken appearances and suffering. Offering the soak to the ritual master. E Ma Ho, the great soak offering, path of the three times Sudatas, is the source of all attainments. Understanding this, great hero, 
abandoning superstitious conceptions, always delight in the suk offerings. Ah, la, la, ho. The ritual masters reply. Om, I am inseparable from the three Vajras and visualize myself as the Guru Yidam. Ah, this uncontaminated wisdom nectar, whom, without moving from bodhicitta, I enjoy to satisfy the deities with, within my body. Ah, ho, Mahasuka. A soak offering is distributed. Recite Rinpoche's long life prayer three times. I pray for the long life of the precious Kensar Wandak, upholder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, the spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts with exceptional wisdom and perseverance. I pray for the long life of the precious Kensar Wandak, upholder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, the spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts with exceptional wisdom and perseverance. I pray for the long life of the precious Kensar Wandak, upholder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, the spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts with exceptional wisdom and perseverance. Let's just take a, a minute here before we continue. Okay. This is a time when you would collect a little bit of the soak and put it aside for the remainders. Kala just got to taste the soak. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Colin knows the place to be today. go on my phone but i don't That's think
Limpochella Nakiran la Gagiduk Dan said to Nakiran Gagiduk. It says you've become a great scholar. So we've got, we've done everything uh, from our side uh, that needs to be done. And it, Rinpoche has tasted the soak. We've done it, so we're ready to move forward from our side, just so you know. So Dan, the prayer is right here for us to continue. Okay. <clears throat> Song of the Spring Queen. Whom all Tathagatas, heroes and yoginis, dakas and dakinis, to all of you I request. Haruka, you who delight in great bliss, approach the bliss intoxicated lady, and through enjoyments according to the right, enter into the union of innate bliss. A la 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 ho, aya a la li ho. Host of immaculate dakinis, look upon us with love and perform all activities. Whom all tathagatas, heroes and yoginis, dakas and dakinis, to all of you I request. Due to your mind being stirred by great bliss, your body completely sways in dance, thereby offer the great bliss of enjoying the mudra's lotus to the host of yoginis. A la 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 ho, ayarali ho. Host of immaculate dakinis, look upon us with love and perform all activities. Whom all tathagatas, heroes and yoginis, dakas and dakinis, to all of you I request. Dancing with enchanting, soothing grace. You, delighted Lord and host of Dakinis, abide before me and bless me. Please bestow innate great bliss upon me. A la 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 ho, aia a ra li ho. Host of immaculate Dakinis, look upon with us with love and perform all activities. Whom, all Tathagatas, heroes and yoginis, Dakas and Dakinis, to all of you I request, possessing great bliss, the defining quality of liberation. You do not assert liberation in one lifetime. You do not assert liberation in one lifetime through the many austerities that have abandoned great bliss. Great bliss rather abides in the center of the Supreme Lotus. A la 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 ho, aya arali ho. Host of Immaculate Dakinis, look upon us with love and perform all activities. Whom all Tathagatas, heroes and yoginis, dakas and dakinis, to all of you I request. Supreme Yogini, by the bliss of your lotus, born from attachment but un un untainted by its faults, like a lotus growing in the midst of mud, quickly free me from the bondage of existence. A la la, la la ho, aya ara li ho. Host of Immaculate Dakinis, look upon us with love and perform all activities. Whom, all Tathagatas, heroes and yoginis, dakas and dakinis, to all of you I request. Just as swarms of bees always drink the essence of honey from its source, through, through the blossoming lotus possessing the six qualities, may I be satisfied by the taste from binding the essence. A la 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 ho, aya ara li ho. Host of Immaculate Daka, Dakinis, look upon us with love and perform all activities. Blessing and offering the remaining soak. Whom impure mistaken appearances are purified in the sphere of emptiness. Ah, this sublime nectar accomplished from transcendental wisdom. Om becomes a great ocean of all that is desired. Om ah hum, om ah hum, om ah hum. Ho, oh, this ocean of remaining soak of uncontaminated nectar, blessed by Samadhi, Mantra, and Mudra, 
in order to please you host of oath-bound local protectors. Om ah hum. Satisfied by enjoying an abundance of all that is desired. Em ah ho. Properly accomplish all ac activities for us yogini, yogis. Ho. Guests for the remainder together with your retinues. In accepting this ocean of remaining soak, make the precious teachings flourish and make the upholders and patrons of the teachings along with the retinues. And especially we yogins gain health, long life, power, and wealth, glory, fame, good fortune, and, abun and abundant enjoyments. Bestow on us the attainments of the actions of pacification, increase, and so forth. Oath-bound protectors, protect us and help us obtain all cities. Avert untimely death, sickness, spirits, and interferers. Eliminate bad dreams, bad omens, and bad activities. Make the world happy, harvest good, crops grow, dharma flourish, and all happiness and good goodness occur, and all our wishes come about. By the force of this bountiful giving, may we spontaneously become Buddhas for the sake of transmigratory beings. Then by our generosity, may we liberate the multitudes of beings who are not liberated by the victorious ones of the past. Training the mind in the Mahayana path. Guru devotion as the root of the path. Supreme field of merit, my perfect pure guru. Through the power of having made offerings and respectful request, I seek your blessings, savior, and the very root of the happiness and goodness that I may come under your joyful guidance. Training the mind in the path in common with lower capable beings, taking the essence of a perfect human rebirth. Realizing how this body of freedoms and richnesses is found but once is difficult to obtain and is quickly lost. I seek your blessings to make it worthwhile and take its essence without being distracted by the meaningless affairs of this life. Generating interest in the happiness of future lives. Aghast at the searing blaze of suffering in the lower realms, I take heartfelt refuge in the three rare sublime ones and seek your blessings that I may diligently strive to abandon all negative karma and accomplish the accumulations of every virtue. Training the mind in the path in common with middle capable beings, developing the wish for liberation. Violently tossed amidst waves of karma and delusions, plagued by the many sea monsters of the three kinds of suffering, I seek your blessing to develop an intense longing to be liberated from this infinite and frightening great ocean of existence, training to achieve liberation. Having abandoned the mind that views this unbearable prison of cyclic existence as a beautiful park, I seek your blessings to hold the three trainings as the, tre as the treasure of the Arya's wealth and thereby to uphold the victory banner of liberation. Training the mind in the path for higher capable beings, generating compassion, the foundation of Mahayana path. Having considered how all these miserable beings have been my mothers and have raised me with kindness again and again, I seek your blessings to develop effortless compassion like that of a loving mother for her precious child. Generating bodhicitta by exchanging yourself and others, developing equanimity. There is no difference between myself and others. None of us wishing, none of us wishes for even the slightest of sufferings, or is even content with the happiness we have. Realizing this, I seek your blessings that I may generate joy for the happiness of others. Contemplating the faults of self-cherishing. This chronic disease of cherishing myself is the cause giving rise to my unsought suffering. Perceiving this, I seek your blessings to blame, begrudge, and destroy the monstrous demon of selfishness. Contemplating the advantages of cherishing others. The mind that cherishes mothers, mothers and places them in bliss is the gateway to leading to infinite qualities. Seeing this, I seek your blessings to cherish these transmit migratory beings more than my life even should they rise up as my enemies. Exchanging yourself and others. In brief, infantile beings labor only for their own ends, 
while the able ones work solely for the welfare of others, with a mind understanding the distinction between the failings of one and the advantages of the other, I seek your blessings to enable me to equalize and exchange myself with others. Cherishing myself is the doorway to all loss, while cherishing my mother's is the foundation of all qualities. Hence, I seek your blessings to make my heart practice the yoga of exchanging myself for others. Tong Len, Meditation on Taking and Giving. And thus, perfect, pure, compassionate guru, I seek your blessings that all negative karmas, obscurations, and sufferings of mother transmigratory beings may without exception ripen upon me right now, and that by giving my happiness and virtue to others, all transmigratory beings may experience happiness. And thus, perfect, pure, compassionate guru, I seek your blessings that all negative karmas, obscurations, and sufferings of mother transmigratory beings may without exception ripen upon me right now, and that by giving my happiness and virtue to others, all transmigratory beings may experience happiness. And thus, perfect, pure, compassionate guru, I seek your blessings that all negative karmas, obscurations, and sufferings of mother transmigratory beings may without exception ripen upon me right now, and that by giving my happiness and virtue to others, all transmigratory beings may experience happiness. Points three through seven of the seven point mind training. Even if the environment and beings are filled with the fruits of negative karma and unwished and unwished for sufferings poured down like rain, I seek your blessings to take these miserable conditions as a path by seeing them as causes to exhaust the results of my negative karma. In short, no matter what appearances arise, be they good or bad, I seek your blessings to transform them into a path, increasing the two bodhicittas through the practice of the five powers, the quintessence of the entire dharma, and thus to cultivate only mental happiness. I seek your blessings that I may relate everything I meet. I seek your blessings that I re relate everything I meet to meditation through skillful means possessing the four practices, and that I may that I may make this life of freedoms and richnesses greatly meaningful through practicing the commitments and precepts of thought transformation. Meditation on the special attitude and generating bodhicitta. In order to rescue all transmigratory beings from the vast sea of existence, I seek your blessings to train only in bodhicitta through love, compassion, and the special attitude conjoined with the techniques of mounting, taking, and giving upon the breath. I seek your blessings that I may eagerly endeavor to put into practice three Mahayana moral codes and to restrain my mind stream with the pure vows of the conqueror's sons, the single path journey by all conquerors of the three times. Practicing the perfection after generating bodhicitta, the general practices of a bodhisattva, the perfection of generosity. I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of generosity through the guideline teaching for increasing the mind that gives without attachment, namely transforming my body, wealth, and merits of virtue of the three, three times into the object desired by each and every sentient being. The perfection of morality. I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of morality by not just transgressing the bounds of the Praktimoksha, Bodhisattva, and Tatric vows, even at the cost of my life, accumulating virtuous qualities and accomplishing the purpose of sentient beings. The perfection of patience. Should even, all, should even all the beings of the three realms, without exception, become angry at me, humiliate, criticize, threaten, or even kill me, I seek your blessings not to be agitated, but to complete the perfection of patience that works for their benefit in response to their harm. The perfection of joyous effort. Even if I must remain for an ocean of eons in the fiery hell of Avicii for the sake of even just one sentient being, I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of joyous effort that out of compassion untiringly strive, strives for supreme enlightenment. The perfection of firm contemplation. Having abandoned the faults of sinking, excitement, and distraction, I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of firm contemplation through the samadhi of single-pointed placement upon the nature of reality of all phenomena, their lack of true existence. The perfection of wisdom. 
the space-like practice of emptiness during the meditation session. I seek your blessings to complete the perfection of wisdom through the space-like yoga of single-minded placement upon ultimate truth, conjoined with the pliancy and great bliss induced by the discriminating wisdom analyzing suchness. The illusion-like practice of emptiness during post-meditation. I seek your blessings to perfect, to, to perfect the samadhi of uh, an illusion by realizing how outer, outer and inner phenomena lack true existence but still appear, like an illusion, a dream, or the moon's image on a still lake. Training the mind in particular in the profound middle view. Samsara and nirvana lack even an atom of inherent existence, and cause and effect are dependent, and dependent arising are unbetraying. I seek your blessing to discern the meaning of Nagarjuna's thought, that these two are mutually complementary and not contradictory. Training the mind in the uncommon path of a Vajrayana. Preparing yourself for the tantric path and keeping the tantric vows and commitments purely. Then crossing the depths of the ocean of Tantra through the kindness of my captain Vajradhara, I seek your blessing that I may hold my vows and commitments, the root of cities dearer than my life. Practicing the generation stage of highest yoga tantra. I seek your blessings that whatever appears may arise as the deity, having cleansed all stains of ordinary appearances and grasping with the first stage of yoga of transforming birth, death, and the bardo into the three bodies of a conqueror. Practicing the com completion stage of highest yoga tantra. I seek your blessing to actualize in this life the path uniting clear light in the illusory body, which arises from placing your feet, my savior, on the eight petals of my heart at the very center of my central channel. Practicing transference of consciousness at the time of death. If my time of death comes before I have completed the point of the path, I seek your blessings that I may be led to a pure land through the instructions for correctly applying the five powers or the Guru's transference of consciousness, the forceful means to enlightenment, praying to be guided by the Guru in all future lives. In short, I seek your blessings, my Savior, to be guided by, your, by you from birth and separably throughout all my lives, and thus to become your main disciple holding every secret of your holy body, speech, and mind. Savior, please grant all, that all be auspicious for me to be foremost among your very first, first circle of disciples, wherever you, met, you manifest Buddhahood, so that all my temporal and ultimate wishes, without exception, may be effortlessly, effortlessly and spontaneously fulfilled. Absorbing the merit field to receive blessings. Having thus been entreated, Supreme Guru, please grant this request so that you may bless me, happily come to the crown of my head, and once again set your radiant feet firmly at the curl of my head lotus, my heart lotus. Dedications of Merit Whatever white virtues were thus created, we dedicate its causes, enabling us to uphold the Holy Dharma of Scripture and Realization, and to fulfill without exception the prayers and deeds of all the Tathagatas and Bodhisattvas of the three times. By the force of this merit, may we never be parted in all our lives from Mahayana four wheels, and may we reach the end of our journey along the path of renunciation, bodhicitta, right views in the two stages. Verses of auspiciousness. Through the quality of whatever white virtues there are in samsara nirvana, may all be auspicious for us to be free, here and now, from all misfortune and loss, and thus to enjoy a glorious and perfect celestial treasure of temporal and ultimate virtue and goodness. May all be auspicious for the Buddha's teachings to be remain long. Throughout your centers of throughout your through your centers of Dharma, omniscient Lonsang Drapa being filled with hosts of renunciates, yogis, and yoginis, strive, striving single-pointedly to master the three pure trainings. Having received your blessings, Lo Drakpa, who from the time of youth made requests to the Supreme Guru Deity, may there be auspiciousness of Long Seng Vajra, Vajradhara, who spontaneously accomplishes the purpose of others. May all be auspicious 
for all our desired endowments to swell like a lake in the summer rains, bringing an unbroken flow of rebirth of leisures, leisure in the faultless families, so, so that we may pass our days and nights with you, with your holy Dharma Lodsang, and thus delight in the glories of perfection. By the collection of whatever virtues and I and others have done, and will do from now until enlightenment, may all be auspicious, holy, perfect, pure one, for your body of form to remain in this land, immutable like a Vajra. Thank you, Dan. So now we'll go on to the mandala offering, dedications and long life prayers. Jeff, would you are you able to lead us through that? Uh, yes. One moment here. Just get resituated. So we'll do as we normally would do, the concluding mandala offering uh, and so forth. The fundamental ground is sent and strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it. May all sentient beings enjoy this pure realm. I dedicate whatever virtues I've collected for the benefit of the teachings and of all sentient beings, and in particular for the essential teachings of Venerable Lozandrapa to shine forever. I send forth this jeweled mandala to you, precious guru. I dedicate all this virtue to emulate the knowledge of the hero Manjushri and likewise Samantabhadra as well, with whatever dedication is praised as supreme by all the conquerors who traverse the three times. I also dedicate all my roots of virtue for the sake of auspicious deeds. In that pure land surrounded by snowy mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness, all powerful Avogateshvara, Tenzin Jatso, may you stay until samsara's end. I pray for the long life of the precious Kensar Wandak, upholder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts with exceptional wisdom and perseverance. Okay. Thank you all so very much for getting up so early to accumulate virtue. It really just shows your commitment to the Dharma and to your own practice and to Rinpoche. So uh, thank you. And uh, um, we'll do a short question and answer. Um, I, still have, I still have to unhook Rinpoche. He's right now hooked up to the dialysis machine still. So we just, you know, it, the timing had to work like that. So I, I have to do that still. Um, and Rinpoche is probably eager to eat breakfast and get and oh, well, that's right. 12 o'clock today. Anyway, we'll see. We, because of diabetes, we still, we have to, you know, follow the rules of conventionality sometimes. So, um, so yeah, uh, so we could do short questions though. Um, that wasn't me saying don't to ask questions. That was just me saying, be mindful of the environment that we're in right now and, and what's going on. Thanks. Go ahead if anybody has any questions. Thank you all again. I'm right here. I'm not a ghost. Oh, Jeff. Yes. <clears throat> Good morning. Thank you to everybody. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, for this beautiful, beautiful Guru Puja. Um, and I can't see Rinpoche or you or Lori, but thank you, especially for taking such good care of Rinpoche and extending his life. I do have a question. I wasn't able to attend the um, Waitara ceremony um, at at the farm. And I know that I, I understand that Rinpoche was giving the individual liberation vows. So I'm wondering uh, if he comes to the center, if I can receive those from Rinpoche. Katie, the tree while you're at the Gemma, the con drunkard say wong. Yeah, that's fine. I can, I, he can do that at the center. Okay. I, I yeah. When you sent me that text, Katie, I had to explain to Rinpoche all the circumstances surrounding that. So he was yes. already up to speed um, on the situation. 
So I kind of just refreshed his mind with what the situation was and just told him, asked him, and he said, sure. Thank you so much. So then, and then um, Rinpoche will decide when he's coming to give a teaching. I know I can't imagine what his body is going through and how tired you must be, but I hope that he can come soon. Yes, yes, absolutely. Are we still on? You can hear me still, right? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, yes, Rinpoche will definitely um, be able to come, come soon. Uh, exactly. You know, we're going to have to with Rinpoche's health these days, um, we've, you know, kind of learned recently that uh, with his blood pressure, um, if his blood pressure isn't high enough, he really can't get up and move around. Um, we've just, you know, so we just really have to be careful with that. Um, so, you know, usually we have to worry about high blood pressure and all these things, but because his diet is so good and his dialysis is so efficient now, um, we're having to kind of readjust, uh, you know, things and maybe even give him a little more salt, believe it or not, and things of that nature. So, um, just to, so we just have to make sure that Rinpoche is safe to go out and we'll have to, it's kind of game time decision, um, unfortunately, but I think that everybody understands that, you know, someone at Rinpoche's age, you know, um, can't always just yeah. at, you know, make it, but we, that is our aim and goal. Um, I was telling Kate, that it's easier for me in a lot of ways just to show up at the center and translate than it is to like get the video going over here. And then, dogs. you know, the dogs are, you know, I'm trying to make, you know, and Rinpoche doesn't want the dogs out of the room. And, but, you know, I'm trying, you know, I don't have the concentration that I, you know, should to be able to manage dogs in translation. And um, so I'm very eager myself to get back to the center, just, you know, selfishly. Um, because it's a little chaotic for, you know, the, to get up in the morning and then, you know, if we had a destination and a time to be there and then it, it'd be a lot easier in some ways, even though there's travel involved. So uh, the answer is yes, um, we, we definitely uh, want to do that as soon as possible. Oh. Or over Skype, whatever, whatever. And, and oh, then I oh. had another question, but I'll text it to you later, okay? Sure, sure. If that's all right with you, I'll text it to you later. Yes. And Dan, thank you. And Dan, you did a great job. That was a beautiful Guru Puja. Beautiful. Thank Everybody you so, much. so beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, I really, really do appreciate it, Dan. You did such a better job than me. And I, you know, <laughs> you know I, it's, the reason I say that is when I start reading stuff, I think I'm overtired too. I get emotional and it's just really hard for me to like, you know, get through the, and then with the dogs coming in and then I can lose my place, even in the heart sutra, um, you hear sometimes I, you know, I've never lost my place, like at the center, like that, maybe once in, you know, a decade or something, but here it's like, you got dogs coming in and out and Rinpoche, you know, trying to pet them and, you know, saying like, you know, so a lot of stuff <laughs> happening. So I really appreciate it, Dan. I just appreciate the way this whole thing came together. I thought it was wonderful. And, uh, you know, it gave us, you know, some kind of um, structure to the Guru Puja. Um, and I, I think that people were actually able to meditate because, you know, Dan, your voice is very nice um, and you enunciate well and because you're a trained singer and you read it, you know, because you're intelligent without, you know, mispronouncing things. And that allows people to really reflect on the meaning of it. So I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. This has been uh, such an incredible blessing. I am so grateful to Rinpoche and to everyone for giving me the opportunity. Um, you know, I, I, am, I, I offer my, you know, whatever, you know, anytime I'd be happy to do this again. Thank you. Kate, you did a great job too. I know you put a lot of effort into getting this ready behind the scenes. So two thumbs up. Yeah, thank you, Kate. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm so happy it came off so well. Um, Dan, you did a beautiful job. So thank you. And a lot of people don't know, I was on the phone with Kate at about 20 of five going, I'm just not sure you I know. Know, exactly how this is going to work. You know, so, um, but we, we did it. Um, and the timing worked out just fine. You know, it was game time decision. I'm like, all right, you guys do the prayers. And then, you know, cause the final drain, I don't know, anybody knows about peritoneal dialysis, but the final drain was at like 510. And in Rinpoche didn't have UF 
which means he didn't drain well from the night before because he was laying back. So he needed to sit up. So I didn't know if I was going to need him sitting up and moving around and me like telling him what to do in order to drain properly. Cause that's a lot of the game around here. Um, because of his size, we have to, you know, kind of, you know, to, to get the proper dialysis, if you want to do it right, I have to be involved physically. So, it, you know, I looked at the clock on the dialysis machine and saw the end time and did the math and was like, realized it very early this morning around maybe like two 30 and, uh, just sat from two 30 until like then wondering like, okay, how's this all going to work? And, uh, it wasn't until I got on the phone with Kate that it was like, oh, well, this will work, you know, cause we have some other stuff going on here, that's like kind of clouding logic a little bit. So all good. No worries, anybody, but just funny. So I just want to say thank you. Uh, and, and it's so wonderful that it, you know, Rinpoche was able to be in camera the whole time. Um, I was concerned about that, um, you know, and, uh, yeah, so we're all good, but I would like to get going because I do have to disconnect him and kind of get going with the morning. Um, 